it's Simsley and welcome to my channel. If you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. And if you're new, welcome in. Today we're in Moonwood Mill and we are going to build the Good Boys Hideout. So what they say is it's like a little trailer style home that in my mind, I'm imagining that a werewolf lives in this trailer, but he wants to be a good werewolf. He doesn't want to be bad. He doesn't want people to be scared of him. And so he is kind of off in the corner in Moonwood Mill and he is kind of hiding from the bad werewolves in the area. So yeah, that was my thought process and you're going to watch it come together really quick. Like I said, it's a little trailer home, so it's not crazy spectacular, but I'm happy with the way it came out. When I had initially started this build, um, I had the intention of doing like a rundown like sketchy looking trailer <laughs> but as i started building the kitchen i really like the kitchen it's like really big and it's really nice and so it um morphed out of what i had imagined in my head into a fairly nice trailer i was thinking that the werewolf that lives here like i said he wants to be a good werewolf he doesn't want to be a bad guy he doesn't want people to be scared of him he wants to I don't know. He doesn't want to be a werewolf. Does that make sense? I don't know if he doesn't want to be a werewolf, but he doesn't want to be a bad one. And he enjoys cooking. And so I gave him a really nice kitchen. And I think that that's how he spends his time. So on that, we start on the exterior and I do use like a rundown looking roof and some rundown um, siding. But the interior of the home is not like this. There's a couple of little cracks in the wall up in the bedroom. In the upstairs, I put a few cracks in the wall up there because I was thinking like, after all, he is a werewolf. So he does have times where he freaks out. And so if he does, I guess he just does it in his bedroom maybe. And he like breaks the wall instead of hurting a human. And I, that was my thought process. I don't know if it makes any sense. Like, I really haven't played with werewolves at all. I should probably play with them and see what they're like. Am I right? I'm thinking werewolves are probably not good. I know that like... When I was playing, my sim saw a werewolf out in the town and was, like, totally terrified. And I've heard other people say that, too. So I figured, like, they're probably really scary and mean. And uh, that was what I was thinking. But he doesn't want to be. He wants people to understand that he's not a bad guy and that he didn't exactly ask for this. And so, uh, yeah, his home is reflective of his hobby, which is cooking, I guess. And, uh... Yeah, it's pretty simple. I did struggle. You're going to watch. Okay, here I'm putting a room on the top because I had, there was not enough space for a bedroom, a kitchen, everything I wanted. And so I put a room upstairs and that's going to become the bedroom. But you're going to watch when I get to the living room. Oh my gosh, I struggle. I don't even know what happened. I like put the furniture 772 ways and none of them worked. You're going to see there's a desk in the living room. It ends up going away. It's a mess, but I did cut most of it out and it kind of looks like it comes together really easily, but I'm telling you, it did not. It was, it was just a lot. It was a lot. I fiddled so much with the shape of the house and the size of the room and where the furniture was. It was chaos. It was chaos. It's the outside of this initially was coming, like everything up to the kitchen. It was coming together really easily. And then it just, I don't even know what happened. It went haywire. But in the end, I'm very happy with the way it came out. And hopefully you will be too. This is going to be on the gallery. It is on there as a good boy's hideout. Um, or I will put a link in the description. Like everything else. You can find it using the hashtag K8Simsley. But yeah. That's uh. Yeah it's pretty. I don't know. I like it. I'm really happy with the kitchen. It like wraps around this whole area. And um, I put lighting under the cabinet. What else? What else did I do? I don't know. I did a lot. I think it comes together and it's super cute. I'm really happy with it. Okay, so I'm recording my voiceover using different software. So for the whole time I've been doing YouTube, I have been using Audacity to record my voiceovers, which is something I've used my whole life. Like years ago, um, I used Audacity. Like I used to sing, believe it or not. I sound like a crazy stuffed up human now. But I used to sing. I used to be a singer. Like that's what I did. And um, I used to use that for recordings. And so it's something I've always used and I've been using it for voiceovers and it works effectively. But I've noticed the quality and the sound is like kind of different lately. 
And so I was talking to some people online, and they all said they just use OBS, which, like, I never thought of because, like, okay, if you're doing a live build, then sure, OBS would work, but I never thought of it for a voiceover. But I am going to try it now. Now, in order to use OBS, I have to, like, record in OBS, which I don't love because, okay, in Audacity, it shows me sound waves to show, like, what I've done, like, how far my recording is and, like, the peaks and stuff. Um, that is not a thing in OBS. However, I did learn over the weekend, which, by the way, I've recorded this voiceover once, but it was really horrid and short, and someone showed up at my door, and so I'm redoing it. But I can record in OBS, and then I take it, and I, tr I have to, like, okay. I take the recording. I have to, like, not remux it, because I'm recording an MP3 or MP4 or whatever. But I have to use another program to, like, turn it into a WAV file to be able to put it in Audacity. But I can put it in Audacity, and then from there I can edit it in there. And, uh, yeah, it's a little better. I think it's better because, like, OBS has, like, the noise gate and suppression and stuff all built in. And so that does make it a little bit better. But I would like to know what you think. Do you notice a difference, like, at all? Is it better? Is it worse? Um... In the brief voiceover I did over the weekend that I have now trashed, I noticed that it is a lot clearer and I have a little more control over the amplification so that I can be heard a little bit better. But other than that, I did not really see much of a difference. And I end up putting it in Audacity anyway and using some of the tools that are in there to just clean it up and cut out things I like or don't like. I used to uh, record and then I'd stop and pause and like change things and fix things. But if I do it this way, then I can just talk and I can just repeat. Like if I, if I don't like what I said, I just say it again in a different way. And then once I put it into Audacity, I can then cut it out in there. So I guess that kind of works. It's maybe easier. I'm not sure. I don't know how I feel. I'm curious, like I said, to know if you notice a difference and that'll tell me if it's worth it to do it this way. I'm probably going to look for an add-on that'll, like, I don't know, show me when I'm recording, because it's, I don't know, I feel weird. I feel like I'm not recording, and then it's worrying me, and then, I don't know. I like the visual aspect of seeing that I'm recording, and this doesn't do that. But it's okay. It's going to be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine, hopefully. Fingers crossed. If I have to record this again, I swear I think I might jump off a bridge. But I'm sure it'll be fine. So anyway, we're moved on to the living room. Catch a game together quick. You saw that. Um, I'm throwing a few things outside. But in the living room, okay, I put the couch under the window initially. You can see me putting this werewolf's desk. I get rid of it. It doesn't work. I, no matter where I put it, the chair would have been in the way of the couch. And then you couldn't have seen the TV. And it was driving me nuts. So it's going to just vanish randomly in a minute. And uh, yeah, it doesn't stay there. I... I don't even remember where I ended up putting it. I do put, like, a dining table. Not in the hall there. I end up moving that. Um, but yeah, the desk was not working. I'm going to put the dining table outside momentarily. It will come back in. But the desk wasn't working. It was blocking the door, or it was blocking the ladder, or it was blocking the couch. And it just was not working. I tried to do, like, a little bump out. That didn't work. I ended up keeping the bump out. I changed a bit, but you're not going to see that. But here, I ended up keeping the bump out. I moved the couch over, and uh, I'm able to put, like, I put a fireplace over here. Um, that little window by the fireplace goes away because I'm going to put a big, like, um, what do you call those things? Like the mural that came with the werewolves pack. I put that on the wall over there. And so, that will go away. But I do end up, I don't know, everything comes back in. It just comes back in very differently. I actually don't know. Yeah, the desk does come back in. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I lied. The table comes in. The desk, I don't, maybe it comes upstairs. I'm not sure. Can't remember now. But, um, yeah, I got rid of it because it was driving me nuts. Yeah, I, uh, I had to, like, switch the furniture around in here a hundred times. I do end up adding these bookcases here under the windows, and I thought that worked well. Like I said, I have the little fireplace. We're going to move the couch forward shortly, and we're going to end up putting the table in behind the couch under the other set of windows, and that seems to work pretty well. Um, yeah, I'm not sure if I put the desk upstairs. I actually don't think I do. I don't end up bringing the desk back in, so if you wanted it, then you would have to add it yourself, because I did not do it. I had momentarily put this one, but I didn't like it, and so it's going to go away. I don't know where I put it. I don't know if I keep it. I don't think I do. 
I really don't think I have a desk in this house. I think I get rid of it totally. But I honestly can't remember, even though I just, like, did this voiceover and just built this, and I don't know. I'm telling you, that's my brain. If I don't make notes, like, I have little sticky notes. It's an app thing, and I have it on my desktop, and if I don't write down what I built and what I have to do, so, like, I write down what I built, and then, um, once it's edited, like, I put it in a, a sticky note that says to edit, and then once it's edited, I move it to the to voiceover sticky note. And then once the voiceover is done, it's to post. Otherwise, I will forget. Like, I actually, the minute I'm done building something, I forget that I did. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of a mess. It's a little bit of a pain in the butt. Because I'll go through, like, I have files on my computer. Oh, my God, I'm, I'm a chaotic mess. But I have files of, like, builds I built. And they just get stored in there and forgotten. And then one day, I go look for them or look through them. And I find a build I really like. And I want to post it. And it's all done. And it's ready. I can do the voiceover. And then I can't find the build because I must have, like, right now, honestly, I just deleted a bunch of save files not even that long ago. But now I'm back and I have, like, 62 freaking save files and I don't know where anything is. And it's kind of driving me insane. But I'm slowly working on getting organized. Hence my little sticky notes. They really help. But if I, like, forget to write it down, then I'm screwed. I don't even know. I eventually find it and then I'll remember. Maybe if I'm lucky. But usually not. Anyway, we're doing the bathroom here, and it's simple. It's like a little rustic shower, and then we have a tub and a sink. Nothing spectacular. It's a bathroom. It's a simple little trailer bathroom. But yeah, um, from here, I think we're going to go upstairs. After we put a mirror and a light on the wall, we're going to move upstairs to the bedroom, which in itself is pretty simple. It's got a bed, a dresser, and just, I think, a few things on the wall. Nothing crazy. Like pictures and whatever. And so it's pretty simple. I'm going to add a picture here in the living room before we go upstairs though. I really feel like I'm forgetting something. This is where I put the mural on the wall. I think it turned out cute. I ended up switching it like 17 times when I cut it and made it look like it was really simple. I do add some curtains on the windows. Yeah, like I was saying, the bedroom upstairs, it's really simple. Um, but it came together pretty quick. Um, well, it was kind of quick. I like switched beds and moved things around. But I did put a big crack on the wall above the bed, which you'll see. Probably like the only really run down aspect inside the house. But like I was saying, I figure since he is a werewolf, he probably does like freak out sometimes because he's probably super frustrated that he's a werewolf and no one wants to talk to him. And so sometimes he gets upset and maybe he broke his wall or like freaked out and threw something. And there is like that picture with the scratches on it because maybe he, maybe it's vampires that are like that did this to him or something. I don't know, he doesn't like them. I think it's like a picture of Vlad. And so that was my like thought process here. And I think that it comes, like I said, it comes together pretty well. I'm not, I like it a lot. I think it turned out cute and I'm happy with it. I really like the way it looks outside. You're going to see in the screenshot shortly. Um, the way it looks outside is cute. I end up like switching out the big windows I had across the front for these two small werewolf ones. And then at the back, I put two really large windows. I figure... If he's trying to hide from the werewolves in Moon Moon Mill, maybe he, like, sits up here and makes sure. Like, he watches to make sure. Because that way he can see the whole lay of the land. And he can see if they're coming. And he can do something about it, I guess. I don't know. But he's just kind of hidden out here on this lot. Trying to be a good guy. And trying not to harm any humans. I guess that's what I was thinking. Like I said, I have no idea if that makes sense. But yeah. So this is the bedroom. And we're going to add a bed. And a dresser. And then I think we end up putting like a guitar in here. I think it's like the electric guitar, the curved one. And that's about it. I don't put very many skill building items in here. In the, um, like outside in the ex on the exterior. I end up putting like the telescope is out there. Which I like randomly tossed out. And I do put a couple of like planters. And so that's about it. I don't think there's much more. I put a lot of like the overgrown grass that came with the werewolves pack. And just some stuff like that. A couple of big trees. And it's like nestled in. I think it looks pretty cute. In here we just put a bunch of pictures on the wall. Maybe a mirror or something. And uh, yeah, that's it. There's not much left. I think we have like, I don't know, not even five minutes left with screenshots and everything. But I hope that you like the idea that I had for this house. And I hope the that you like the way it came out. 
Um, like I said, it's on the gallery, and you can find it searching the hashtag K8Simsley. And you can find me on social media using that hashtag as well. I pretty much use it everywhere. And I would love to see you wherever you are. But I'll play music for you. I'll let you watch. Like I said, we're just going to add some pictures on the walls, and we're going to paint, and then we're going to move outside. And I think I'll do like two or three things out there, and then we'll jump into screenshots. If you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, as there are more builds coming. And uh, yeah, have yourself a spectacular day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>